So by the end of this video, you'll have a fully functional research agent, which can perform in-depth research. We will be building this out in edm with zero code. So first, let's start very high level and just look at exactly how this AI agent will work. So I've mapped it out here. And the way that the agent will work is that it will be triggered with a chat node in which we will tell the AI agent exactly what we want it to research. And then below the AI agent, we have open router, which really serves as the agent's brain. This allows us to easily connect to different types of AI models. And we also have perplexity, which is one of the leading AI research tools. So open router serves as the brain, perplexity serves as a tool that the agent can call upon. And then the result is that this research will be shared with us via the chat. So just jumping right into N8N, we're just gonna create a new workflow and just get started here. The first step is going to be a chat node. So we're gonna start with a chat trigger. And then the next step is to add our AI agent. We're gonna make sure that it's connected to the chat trigger node. It should receive that JSON chat input. And then underneath the AI agent, let's just connect to open router. If you don't already have an open router credential set up, what you'll wanna do is go to openrouter.ai, sign in or sign up to an open router account, create a new API key. You just call it N8N. You'll want to copy that key and then create a new credential using that key. I'm going to use the GPT 4.1 mini model for this. And then the first step, I think what we should do is just test and see if the agent works with that model set up. So I'm going to ask it, what are the benefits of AI automation? We'll just see if the agent works, if it has a brain and it, whether it can give us a response or not. And as you can see, it gave us this very nice response right here, detailing all the benefits of AI automation. So that checks out very nicely. So the next step is we're going to add a tool. We're going to add the perplexity tool in here and give it access to the ability to do deep research. So once again, if you don't have a perplexity credential set up, you'll want to go to perplexity's website, create an account, sign in. And just like with open router, you'll want to create a new API key that you can connect to N8N. So I'll create a new key right here. You want to copy that. So just be aware that you will need to add credits to your account to use this API service. So going back, once you create that new credential, you're going to have the operation be message a model, and then you're going to choose your individual model. Now, if you're not sure which model to use, I would just look up the model documentation, and then you can get a description of each model. So if you're doing a simple search, you would use Sonar or Sonar Pro. If you're doing more reasoning, you're going to use Sonar Reasoning, Sonar Reasoning Pro. And if you want to do research, you would use Sonar deep research. So since we're doing research, we're going to go with sonar deep research model. And the cool thing is that we can click this little sparkle icon right here and let the model define exactly what gets fed to this tool. The other thing that we can add to the AI agent is a system message right now. It's just a very simple system message saying you are a helpful assistant. But if we built this out, we can make this even more accurate and even more powerful if we told it exactly how we would want the output to be formatted or exactly how the agent should approach this task. So now let's test it out with something more complex. Let's ask it what are the best nutrition plans for bulking. So we'll see exactly what the AI agent uses. You can see that right now it's using the perplexity model. So it is using that model to conduct deep research to answer this query. So I'm going to return back when this research is done and ready to show. So everything seems to have checked out. The AI agent did return a lot of research about the best nutrition plans for bulking. If we go into the perplexity output, we can actually see the exact citations, the, the websites that it used to develop its response. So if you ever wanted to fact check the response and actually go to the source and see how well it did, then this is a great way to check the sources. So that's a very basic AI agent that uses perplexity to do deep research. What we can do with this middle section, the AI agent, the great thing about this is that you can rip this out and put it into different workflows, whether that's a you know doing deep research on a new lead that has been added to a Google Sheet, whether that's adding it to a sales pipeline. 
This middle section, once you have this complete, you can rip it out, put it into different workflows. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to build a research AI agent, which will perform deep research on individual companies that we add to a spreadsheet, Google Sheets. And we're gonna have this agent research the best news of the week for each company. So to do this, we're gonna get rid of this chat message trigger. We're gonna add a manual trigger here. We can replace this with a scheduling trigger in the future, but the next step is to add a Google Sheet node. We're gonna use the get rows and sheet node. So I already have my Google Sheets account set up. If you wanna set this up, you would wanna to go to the Google Cloud Console, make sure to sign in, then search up the Google Sheets API, then just make sure that this is enabled and grab the API. And then you're going to want to create a new credential. Once that's linked up, you, you want to make sure to create your document. So I've created this Google Sheets document right here that has five AI companies that I would like to track on a weekly basis and pull the top news from. So this document is called Company News Research. Once your Google Sheets account is linked, you should be able to find this one easily from the document section and then choose the sheet. So we're going to go with sheet one and that should be good to go. So we're gonna execute that step. It's gonna pull in all, all of those companies. Now the next step is to feed this into our agent. This time we are gonna do it a little bit differently. We're gonna define the user message before this was just being pulled directly from the chat message trigger. But now we want to give the AI agent the company, the json.company, and then we're actually gonna change the system message to be something a bit more fulsome here. So the system message reads, you are an expert research agent tasked with providing the top news stories for a given company. Use your perplexity tool to do research on the given company and return the top news stories for each company. So we're gonna run this model to get the output from this agent. And you can see that it's using perplexity right now to conduct that research and pull the best top news stories for each one of those companies. So when this research wraps up, then we'll return and finish up this agent. All right, so the five items have returned from the AI agent. It's conduct research on each one of those companies. So the last step is that we are going to append or update a row. So we're going to take these results from the AI agent using perplexity. We're going to add it to the sheet. So we're going to use an append or update row node. We're going to connect our Google Sheets account. We're going to click append or update row operation. We're gonna choose the same exact file. We're gonna choose the same exact sheet and we're gonna map each column manually. So the column that we're gonna match on is going to be company. And then we're gonna be pulling that company from the get rows node. So that individual JSON output from the get rows node, we're gonna match upon that output. And then the JSON output from the AI agent that is what we're going to add to the top news of the week. So when we run this step, it will add each one of those research items individually to each company and match each company. And boom, as you can see, the news has populated to the sheet. And this is a great way to conduct research on these companies. And as I mentioned before, we can change the trigger to a scheduling trigger and have this run at any cadence that we'd like. So yeah, that's how you build a fully functional AI agent that can conduct deep research using perplexity and open router. There's a lot of unique ways that you can add this agent to different types of workflows, but it's a very flexible agent. You can research lots of different things, companies, trends, products, anything that you can think of. You can research it and you can set this up to run at any cadence that you'd like. So if you want to learn more about N8N and building different types of AI automations, then make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thanks.